Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Do you remember a few weeks ago, I made a video called The Best Way to Learn English? If you haven't watched it yet, I'll put a link up there that you can click. Uh, you should watch that video before you watch this one. Uh, anyways, I made a video called The Best Way to Learn English. And in that video, I gave you a plan for you to help organize how you study the English language. And the basis of the plan was that on Mondays, you would do a lot of English reading. On Tuesdays, you would do some English writing. On Wednesdays, you would do some English listening practice. On Thursdays, you would do some English speaking practice. And on Fridays, you would basically practice all of the vocabulary that you had learned earlier in the week. Well, I thought today would be a good day to check in with you. Uh, it would be a good day to see how things are going with your English learning. I know some of you are using that plan. I know some of you have your own plan, but I thought today would be a good day just to come out here for a walk uh, and to kind of ask you how things are going. And the reason I want to ask you how things are going is because I really want to know. I would love it if you could answer in the comments below. But I think other English learners who are watching this video would love to know some of the things that you have figured out, some of the things that you do to help you learn English. So let's talk through each of the five days of the week. Let's talk through reading, writing, listening, speaking, and learning new vocabulary. And if everyone could let us know in the comments the things that they do in order to do those things well, that would be great. So let's start with reading. I would be curious to know what books you have found to practice your English reading. I know that some of you are beginner level readers, some of you are intermediate level readers, and some of you are advanced level readers, but I would be curious to know what books you have read since this past January or which books you have started reading. And I'm sure a lot of other people would be curious as well. So please let us know in the comments below the title, the author, and what level you think the book is that you have read in the past month and a half. Um, I think that it would be very useful for all of us here on this channel, including myself, to know what books you have found and what books you are reading. As well, when it comes to reading, I would be curious to know where else are you reading English? Do you read an English newspaper? Have you found a really good website where you can find really nice and easy to read English articles, um, news articles or others? Um, we would be curious and we would love to know. So again, please post that in the comments below. What are you doing to read? What books have you been reading? And what else have you been reading in English? So let's talk about writing. I would be really curious to know what you have been doing to practice your English writing. And again, I'm sure everyone else who is watching this video would love to know as well. So again, share what you are doing in the comments below. Uh, that would be really helpful for all of us. So what have you been doing to practice your English writing? I know some of you have been leaving comments on my YouTube videos. That's a great way to practice your English writing. But maybe you have found a pen pal who you write to in English. Maybe you have found an English friend that you can write emails to. Um, I would be curious to know, and I'm sure everyone else would love to know, what have you been doing to practice your English writing? Um, it's not the easiest thing to practice. Um, it's always easier to practice your reading and your listening. Writing requires that uh, not only you do some writing, but sometimes that you find someone who you can write to who will read what you have written and kind of give you some feedback on it. So anyways, let all of us know in the comments below what you have been doing to practice your English writing. So the next thing you've been practicing, maybe on Wednesdays, is your English listening. And this is usually everyone's favorite thing to do when they are learning a language. Um, I think because it's the easiest thing to do. So I would be curious, and please let us know in the comments below, what songs have you been listening to in English? That's always the one that I'm the most interested in knowing about. What songs have you been listening to? I know for myself, I have been listening to a lot of Post Malone's song Circles. Uh, it's on my playlist. Um, I know I'm not learning English, but it's still one of my favorite songs right now. But what songs have you been listening to in English? Uh, and please again, let us know in the comments below. And what television shows have you been watching? Um, what television shows, whether they are new shows or older shows, 
have you found uh, and what shows have you been watching and enjoying over the last few weeks? Um, I'd be really curious to know and so would a lot of other people. And then lastly, uh, what movies have you watched in English? Have you gone out to the theater? Have you um, watched some on Netflix or online? Uh, let us know what movies you have been watching in English and how they have been helping you improve your vocabulary and how they have been helping you improve your English listening skills. Yes, we're definitely outside. Part of your listening uh, skills today um, are being improved by hearing some wild birds. I'm not sure, that bird sounds a little bit angry with me. Anyways, let us know in the comments what you have been listening to and what you have been watching. So, in my previous video, I challenged you to practice your speaking on Thursdays. So, whether you are practicing your speaking on Thursdays or not, uh, maybe you're practicing it on another day of the week. Um, I'm curious to know, what ways have you found to uh, practice your English speaking? Have you signed up for an account on a web page or an app like Preply? There's a link in the description below, by the way. Have you used italki or Cambly? Have you simply been talking out loud to yourself? Again, I am curious, I would love to know, uh, and I'm sure many other watchers of this video would love to know what you are doing to practice your English speaking. Um, by the way, I'm going to try to respond to all the comments on this video uh, for the first 48 hours. Um, normally, I can only respond to comments for about the first day, and then there are just too many comments for me to respond to all of them. But I am truly curious and very interested to know uh, what you are doing to practice your English reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So please do let me know uh, and let others know in the comments below. But we're not quite done yet. We have one more thing to talk about, and that's how are you practicing and learning new English vocabulary. What are you doing uh, to make sure those words and phrases uh, stick in your mind? In the original video, I suggested that you use a web page like Quizlet. There's also an app for that. It's a free web page. It lets you make flashcard sets and play games with new vocabulary. Um, but maybe you have other methods. I know that some of you um, have found really interesting and unique ways to practice your new vocabulary. So again, in the original plan, I suggested that every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you should be learning new vocabulary. And then on the Friday, you should be spending time practicing that new vocabulary so that it sticks in your brain really, really well. Um, sorry for the camera shake today. It is a little bit windy out here. And as I'm walking and talking, uh, my camera is moving a little bit more than I would like it to. Um, and of course, there was the bird singing uh, as well. I think you call that singing. Maybe it's more like chirping, so. Anyways, how are you learning new vocabulary? How are you practicing no new vocabulary? What new little tricks and tips do you have that you can share with us in the comments below? Um, that uh, just ways that you have been able to learn and practice new vocabulary in in a way that it sticks in your brain for good. So those of you that watch my live English lessons know that I'm kind of like a broken record. Um, when we say that someone's like a broken record in English, it means that they say the same things over and over again. And I am often saying that in order to improve your English, you need to be reading, you need to be writing, you need to be listening, you need to be speaking, and you need to be learning and practicing new vocabulary. So um, again, that's what I said in that last video. If you didn't watch it yet, uh, there is a link up there. You can go have a look at it. It might be helpful for you. Um, but I hope for those of you that are using my plan or a modified version of that plan or your own plan, I hope that things are going well and that you're learning uh, a ton of new English every day. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here, and you're learning English with me here on YouTube. Uh, and I really hope you're having a great day and I will see you uh, in the next video.